so today we're going to be working on this uh, garage heater here. So this was put in quite a few years ago and from new on the thing was always extremely noisy and when the guy installed it or whatever he's like yep I got it uh, the best it's gonna get. He's like I don't know why it has this kind of like noise so it's kind of like a vibration almost like a rattle sound. And, you know, I went through it and checked and I couldn't find anything. And then the other day I was just like, that's it. I'm sick of this. So I pulled the fan off the back and I think I found the issue. But uh, before I do that, I'll fire it up here and have you listen to it and you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, so actually, I think about it, I was in here cleaning, and I haven't gotten to this area, there's a bunch of cobwebs, and that's what was driving me nuts, is that this thing would kick in, and it was just making all sorts of noise. So, before working on it here, I uh, unplugged it, and anyway, probably can't tell, because there's not enough room in here, but these uh, fan blades actually have some cracks in them. So I'm thinking that's what the issue is. So we're going to pull off these nuts off. We'll pull the, fa the fan and motor assembly off. And then uh, we'll take a look at the blade. All right, so here's the fan. So the annoying thing is it was really hard to find just the blade. You could find the motor without the blade, no problem. But uh, trying to find this blade was impossible. And now that I look at the blade that I was sent based on the part number, it's actually a four blade and this is a five. So hopefully that doesn't matter. But if you look right, I don't know if you can see that or not. Right there, there's a crack. There's actually a crack in the blade that, and there now maybe you can see it. So it's cracked all the way through there. It's cracked all the way through there. Not sure why. I'm thinking that's probably causing that annoying like buzzing vibration. So we're going to uh, pull this one off and hopefully, boy, hopefully that other one works. It looks like the pitch of the blades are a little different. I don't know, we'll see, I guess. All right, so this is the fan that I pulled off of the blade. And there again, you can see that's where it's cracked. It's a cracked form there. But this is the one that they sent me. And I don't know if that's going to work because these are sitting a lot taller than what these are. Looks like the same size uh, center and everything. And that's just, uh, boy is that frustrating that that's supposed to be the right one. Um, I believe it said that the part was superseded. So maybe this is just the new design they use in all these heaters. But uh, it's definitely different than this one, you know. So you can... That, that tinny sound, I don't, see, that one doesn't sound like that. This one, it's got that rattly sound because each one of these blades has got a crack in it. So, I don't know, we'll see. I'll try to get this one on, we'll see what happens. All right, so I got it on there. Looks like we got uh, not quite a finger width behind. Um, still have some space on the, the shaft there to bring it out but like I said with these sticking up higher we got the uh, heat tubes here and it looks like we should be okay so I can just set that on there oh yeah we got plenty of clearance there so it looks like we should be okay so I'll uh, tighten the nuts back up and I don't know we'll fire it up and see what happens I guess all right, so I got it put back together. Let's uh, turn it on and hope for the best here. So that initial blower is gonna be the exhaust for the uh, combustion. And then the, the fan that we replace is actually for the heat where you got your uh, heat tubes there. I 
you can hear the difference much quieter it has a different tone even I'm thinking that's the, the pitch on those blades um, one of the things was my dad put up a heater in his shop and same thing when his turns on like it's basically quiet so mine from the, the start was never good all right so a couple numbers here that fan blade I think that cost me 65 bucks it looks like a $12 part um, the actual motor I think you can get for 30 bucks but it doesn't come with a blade I would have just replaced the whole thing but th there's nothing wrong with the motor I just can't believe that that fan blade is $65 that was the cheapest blade I could find otherwise they were well over $100 for that fan blade so and I really probably when this was installed I should have pushed the guy a little bit harder on getting rid of that uh, that rattle but you know I didn't know I just assumed that's what the those heaters were supposed to sound like I've never had one before but after hearing my dad who had his put in I don't know a couple of years ago and then being in here it's finally like I got to do something with that that's just not right so not much to it it's probably the same for any of the other ones I think this I thought this brand was like a cayenne maybe it's not a mr. heater brand but they're basically all the same I think they're all made by like Modine or whatever so parts are pretty much the same so if you do have that issue this is probably what it is check it out and uh, that'll be it for now